Tasha. Tasha, Tasha, Tasha. I just need you to do one thing for me. And that's to shut the fuck up, okay? Like, seriously. Good morning, y'all. Um, It's like, what time is it? 8.53 in the morning. I just woke, well, I really just didn't wake up. I took my brother to school like a couple of minutes. Like, around 7.30 and I laid down for a little while to make my notes. For the basketball, not basketball hoes, but Bad Girls Club 7, um, New Orleans. And, uh, I just want to, like, whatever. I just need to get to this because these bitches is really pissing me off. Now, let's, um, just start off with Judy's plan to get Priscilla out of the house. Um, I think that, you know what I'm saying, um, Judy is going to do anything she possibly can to get Priscilla's ass out the house. And do I blame her? Hell no. Why? Because I can't fucking stand Priscilla. Priscilla is a weak ass bitch, number one. She thinks just because she's from Staten Island and that she met um, Dre the whack ass from uh, Mob Wives that she's just some hard ass bitch. She thinks because she's picking on Judy that she's a hard ass bitch and she really ain't no hard ass bitch. She looks weak by picking on the weak. You know what I'm saying? So Judy's finna put her ass at the house. You know, Judy makes her skin crawl. Judy gonna do whatever the fuck she possibly can to get her ass out the house. Um, Judy drew a picture of a dick and put it by her picture. Priscilla saw it and she couldn't even say nothing. But yes, bitch, I got a whole lot of dick. Trust me, I got better dick than you. Bitch, shut the fuck up, okay? I mean, goodness, Priscilla. You can't even have, you don't even have any good comebacks. You're just a dumbass bitch. And you look like you, and you want to call Judy nasty? Bitch, you look dirty your damn self. Trust and believe that. Trust and believe me when I tell you, bitch, that you look dirty. And then you want to call yourself the gangster of BGC7 on Twitter? Bitch, you ain't nobody's gangster. You ain't done shit. You always thinking you hard because you running up on Judy. But when the saucy up, um, mushed your ass in your face, you didn't try to run up. Your ass was scared like the scared puppy that you are. And you didn't do shit because you know who the fuck to run up on. Y'all already know Judy can't fight. So you think you hard because you running up on a weak bitch. You ain't hard bitch. Like seriously. You might be tough physically. Well I want to even say tough. You might be strong physically. But mentally you a weak bitch. Because I wouldn't even fuck with somebody that I already know that I can whoop. Like seriously that defeats the purpose. You dumb bitch. Seriously. Then, um, my, now, Shelly putting bleach in the Stasi's contact solution really pissed me off. Because, you know, that's taking it to a whole nother level. Over some fucking beds. Like, yes, I agree that Nastasia do need to admit that she did the motherfucking shit. She do need to admit that she knocked over the bed because she did say that she wanted them to say something to her about knocking over the bed so she can have a reason to pop one of them. She did say that. But... Going as far as to putting bleach in her fucking contact solution is fucking bullshit. Like, knocking over a damn bed don't get that fucking serious, Shelly. I mean, seriously, bitch. You need to sit your fat muffin body ass down somewhere with your fucked up ass extensions. You just ain't got no life. You just ain't got shit going for yourself. You just a weak ass bitch. Like, I don't like you. And I'm sick of your ass. Like, I really wish you would go home. You just... I just think that you really need to get a fucking vibrator or a sex toy or a rabbit or something. Stick it up your pussy and just get it over with. Like, seriously, I just think you're sexually frustrated because your butch-ass girlfriend gone. Like, bitch, I am so sick of you. Like, you want to stop your 10 minutes to knocking over your bed, which I really do think that she should. But you won't admit to putting bleach in her damn um, contact solution. That shit is going too far. And Angie just... All up in the damn plans like a dumbass bitch. That's why I don't nobody fuck with her now because she's fake. She's a follower. She follows whatever wherever the wind blows. That's what she follows, and that's just how I feel about it. So, but I do feel like Nastasia really did disappoint me this episode because ain't no way in hell no bitch would have put some bleach in my motherfucking contact solutions and they would have gotten away with it because Nastasia. You already know that you knocked over Shelly and Angie B and they want to know who the fuck did it. So they already going to retaliate against you because of the simple fact you haven't admitted to knocking over the bed. So that should have gave you a clue that it was Shelly and Angie that, you know, put the bleach in your damn contact solution. Ain't no way in hell I would have let them bitches get away with it. But by reading Nastasia's tweets, I'm guessing that she was told that she... Needs to stay in the house. So that's why she didn't throw no blows. I don't know. I don't really don't know. But the way I feel about it. 
that bitch, um, that bitch Shelly really needed to get her ass whooped for that shit. She really did need to get her ass whooped. And I'm just sick of it. Like, I'm sick, I'm sick of Shelly and I'm sick of Angie. Um, they need to be dealt with as soon as possible. And I'm just tired of them. Like, especially Shelly. Because that bitch got too much mouth. Um, she got too much damn mouth. And she do too much. She says too much. And she always doing shit on a low. Like, she really just need to stop, um, trying to, you know, stop trying to be hard and doing shit behind, um, doing shit behind folks' backs. Like, seriously, bitch, you need to sit your muffin body ass down and worry about your butch ass girlfriend. That's what the fuck you need to worry about. You fucked up extension having, bitch. And then you got Priscilla and Judy going at it. And Tasha always want to be super saver her trying to jump in. And let me get on it. Let me get in on that bitch. That bitch always got some sly shit to say all the time. Bitch, why don't you say it to these motherfucking females' face? I'm so sick of your ass always having something to say. For one, you got a calm your throat. The way you talk sound like you got calm stuck up your motherfucking throat. Number two, you want to be black. And number three, you just a weak ass bitch. You don't have a voice. You just do too much to be seen. Bitch, get over yourself because you ain't shit. You not Kim Kardashian. You just a weak ass bitch with some puffy ass eyes. Set, shut the fuck up and sit the fuck down. Trying to jump in Priscilla shit. Bitch, please. That shows you how weak y'all hoes is. Y'all got to fight for each other. Get the fuck out of here. Judy is a weak... Not saying Judy a weak bitch, but Judy can't fight, so why the fuck you got the feel the need to jump in? And on Twitter you want to say, oh, that's my girl, I'm going to jump in. But bitch, why didn't you jump in when Nastasia must her ass? Because you already know the deal, bitch, and I can't wait till the next episode when Nastasia throw that drink in your motherfucking ass. Now, I did like the fact that um, Tierra and Angie buried the hatchet. That was nice. Oh, it was nice, wonderful, whatever. But, um, this fight with Judy and Priscilla... When Judy threw that theory at Priscilla, I don't believe for one sec that Priscilla was asleep. Ain't no way in hell she was asleep off all that shit. I just don't believe she was. That's how I feel. She wasn't asleep off that shit. I feel like when somebody throws cereal and milk at your ass and you supposedly sleep, you're supposed to get up right then. That bitch wasn't, um, that bitch wasn't asleep. She knows she wasn't asleep. She trying to pretend that she was. So, uh, Priscilla... Please sit down. And then, you know what I'm saying, you walk out in the hallway like you a bad bitch. And then, you know what I'm saying, you want to hit Judy and all that stuff. And it is what it is. So, I can't wait. What I am mad at is that Oxygen, you know, cut the fight up. And we got to wait all the way to the next episode to see what that, what you know, the rest of the shit and see what else happened. Um, in, other, in other news, I guess the new girl Cheyenne will be coming in the house. I've seen pictures of her. She look like a hippie. And I hope she isn't boring. I really hope she's not boring. Um, next episode seems to be eventful. Bad Girls Club 7 is, is getting really real. Ever since the limo fight, it's been getting real. Shit been getting more interesting by the day. So, um, this is my interview of the Bad Girls Club 7. I really didn't go in like I thought I was. Probably because I'm really, you know, it's early in the morning right now. And I'm just not even in the mood to even do no video. But for my fans, I'm doing it for y'all. Even though I'm not feeling my best right now. So, that's probably why I didn't go in the way I wanted to. But this is my Bad Girls Club New Orleans video. And I'm about to do my basketball hoes video. So, be back in a minute. Holla.